Side grind the training. Side grind the training. This Essentials Guide provides an overview of SiteGrinder's wide-ranging features for creating and manipulating text in Photoshop, adding and editing text in the SiteGrinder Content Manager, and even changing web page text after you upload your pages. Some type layers, like those used in logos, are crucial design elements and need to look exactly the same on your web page as they do in Photoshop. But most users won't have non-standard fonts installed, and web browsers don't support advanced text styles like kerning or visual effects like beveling, rotation, or skewing, things you can easily do in Photoshop. As a result, these type layers should be exported as rendered images. SiteGrinder automatically exports type layers that don't have the text hint in their layer names and have their anti-alias set to anything other than none because none is a shortcut for the text hint. For many reasons, including quick download and search engine optimization, the bulk of your text should be real, searchable, selectable, CSS-styled text. SiteGrinder can convert Photoshop type layers into CSS. In most cases, the CSS text SiteGrinder creates will preserve character styles like font and color, as well as paragraph styles like alignment and space after. A few advanced typographical features like kerning are not supported by browsers and can only be preserved by exporting a type layer as an image. You'll also want to stick with web standard fonts like Verdana, Arial, and Courier. We tell SiteGrinder to make real CSS text from a type layer by adding the text hint to the layer's name or simply setting the layer's anti-alias character style to none. When you create text in Photoshop using the type tool, sometimes you just click somewhere in your document and start typing. This is called point text because the initial click provided a single point to indicate the location of the type layer. Another way to create a type layer with the type tool is to click and drag to define a rectangle to contain the text before you start typing. This kind of type layer is called paragraph type and is almost always what you should use with SiteGrinder. The rectangle indicates where text should wrap and allows margins to be set on either side among other useful techniques. If you need to change the dimensions of this rectangle later, make sure you do so using the type tool and not the move tool. The Move tool will stretch the text in ways that aren't supported by browsers for CSS text, so stretched text on the final page won't match your document. SiteGrinder converts character styles like bold and italic, but it's best to set these using the faux bold and faux italic controls in the character palette. If you choose bold or italic font variations from the font menu, you risk choosing a font your site visitor may not have installed, even with web standard fonts. Another potential text layout problem that's easy to avoid involves white space. The geniuses who invented the web decided that using things like the tab key, the space bar, or the return or enter keys to add extra horizontal or vertical space in text was a bad idea. As a result, you can get wildly varying displays in browsers if you try this. The solution is to use Photoshop's Space After Paragraph style in the lower right of the Photoshop Paragraph palette. Using this technique, each paragraph can have a unique amount of space after, and browsers obey this style perfectly on the built web page. And remember, anything with a return after it counts as a paragraph, even a single word. What happens if you put more text in a paragraph rectangle than the rectangle can display? Or what if you don't know how much text you're going to have in a certain place because you haven't gotten it from the client yet? Or what if you need to change the text after you build your site? SiteGrinder provides several solutions for these common situations. The easiest is the scroll hint. Adding this to a type layer's name will give the type rectangle its own scroll bar on the final page to allow your site visitors to see all of the text.
SiteGrinder also provides amazingly flexible ways for your type areas to automatically grow and shrink to accommodate changing amounts of text content. You can even have graphic decorations behind and surrounding your text that also grow or shrink as needed. These features are covered in the documentation about page layout and the column hint. I recommend starting with the page layout essentials video, but I will warn you that it's been known to make burly lumberjacks cry tears of uncontrollable joy. If you want to maximize your search engine optimization and you want to please people who think that using Microsoft Notepad as their website creation tool somehow makes them attractive to potential mates, you'll want to make sure that your most important headlines are properly called out in the underlying HTML code using what are known as H tags. SiteGrinder makes this simple. The first paragraph of a type layer will be given this tag in the code SiteGrinder creates if you add the H1 hint to its layer name. See the documentation on search engine optimization for more details about this feature. Let's face it, in spite of its powerful type tools, Photoshop was never meant to be an editor for the kind of long flowing text you sometimes need on your web pages. Photoshop doesn't even support a lot of web text features like bullet lists and flowing around images. For more robust text handling, SiteGrinder provides a lot of options. Most of these involve creating type layers as placeholders in your Photoshop design to indicate the initial size and position of the rectangles that contain the text. Once you build and deploy, you can add the final text in a lot of different ways. In the Content Manager, you can add large quantities of text using the in-browser text editor. You can even paste in styled text from Microsoft Word or paste in HTML. Finally, you can link to remote styled text contained in things like Google Docs documents. See the text documentation for details. If you've purchased SiteGrinder's control add-on, you could deploy sites with remote content management. You or your clients can log on to these sites from any browser on the web and make changes to page text, among other things. You can even set up your site so that pages share certain text areas and a change on one page is instantly reflected on all the pages that use the same text area. See the content management documentation for details.